My ambition from the Learn to Lead programme really is just to develop the skills and uh, competencies required to be an effective leader and then hopefully bring that back to inspire my own um, county and club, you know, uh, underage ladies Gaelic footballers within my own area. I think there's a lot of leaders out there and in jobs and, and you know, in your everyday role but um, to get a good leader and someone who motivates everyone I think it's really important. The motivational speeches, especially with uh, Mary McAleese, I heard today, i um, very excited about that. Um, and I think as a female leader, it's just, I don't think you could get any better. The fact that ladies football is the fastest growing sport for the last number of years and it's going to continue to be the fastest growing sport, I think being in a position where you can be involved with an organisation that's moving that fast in an industry of sport with everything that's happening around it is just brilliant. I think the association by putting this forward and all the different strands, they're looking to sustain leadership within the association and focus, focusing it on females as such. So they obviously have a long term vision and they just want it to grow and identify people who want to grow with it. I hope to gain a, a lot of experience a, from the other coaches and from the course itself and to develop into a better coach. The programme itself was very attractive to me. I feel that it, it will assist me in my role to further develop myself as administrator. The mammies are there all on the sidelines, so it's really good that they can see just a normal mammy or just, you know, one of the coaches now being challenged to do this programme and being empowered to learn and improve. In the female side of things, I think it's important that they can have somebody to look up to that, that is in, the, in a female role. If you're involved in a team and you're, you're a leader in the team, you have to take the criticism along with the, the good things that, that you do or say. And obviously you're responsible for other people. I think it's a chance really to you know, reflect on your own leadership styles and to develop as a leader. I think it's a massive step forward for the LGFA and even just for any sporting um, organisation to, to run a female leadership programme. Um, it's going to benefit you know, the participants that do it now and hopefully in the future there will be many more uh, women that take the step forward to, to get involved.